Rogue Evolution now. Today I'm going to be making the case that Kid A is Radiohead's best album. Radiohead is not a band I talk about on my YouTube channel too often, but the truth is they are a band that has had a huge impact on my life, okay, when I was 13 years old. I liked the song Creep so much, I decided to do a deep dive of Radiohead's discography, so I listened to every single one of their albums in order from Pablo Honey to In Rainbows, and Rainbows at the time being their most recent, m most recently released album, so that's, that tells you how long I've been listening to Radiohead. And looking back at it, I got lucky as fuck that I picked Radiohead, okay, because I could have picked Foo Fighters as the band I wanted to, you know, dive into the discography of, but I picked freaking Radiohead, happened to be one of the most critically acclaimed, maybe one of the best bands of all time, had a huge role in sparking my interest in music. Johnny Greenwood's super aggressive but kind of jazzy and strange guitar work was just so inspirational for me. Really interesting, awesome stuff. And uh, frankly, maybe I wouldn't be here today doing these freaking reviews if I hadn't decided at 13 years old to do a deep dive of Radiohead's discography. So I have listened to a ton of Radiohead throughout my life, and in this time listening to Radiohead, my favorite Radiohead album has fluctuated a lot, okay? There was a time, actually a very long time, where I swore that The Benz was the best Radiohead album. I loved The Benz. I still love it, of course. I've had a very close relationship to Radiohead's all their different albums. I've listened to them very closely. Uh, but even though my favorite Radiohead album has fluctuated, the truth is I find myself always going back to Kid A. And now I can confidently say I believe Kid A is really their best. Besides the fact that Kid A is the Radiohead album I find myself returning to the most, there are two reasons why I'm willing to argue that Kid A really is Radiohead's greatest achievement. Reason number one being the context of this album's release. In 1997, Radiohead released OK Computer, one of the most critically acclaimed albums of all time. It is literally rated the number one best album of all time on RateYourMusic.com. So they could have freaking retired after releasing OK Computer and never released anything else ever again, okay? But the truth is, after they released OK Computer, they were miserable, they were depressed, they were touring so much they were exhausted, it got to the point where they fucking hated their music, they hated rock in general, they didn't want to fucking touch a guitar ever again because for, I don't know the details, you know, maybe the, there's probably some, some stuff we don't know about, maybe some mental health issues or whatever, but it got to the point where OK Computer had pretty much ruined Radiohead's lives and they didn't want to fucking touch a guitar ever again. They were having writer's block, they were uninspired, okay? But they were able to find inspiration through Warp Records. Warp Records being a record label that releases a lot of really, really, really influential and awesome and important electronic music. They were drawn into electronic music. Okay, and if you're like literally one of the most critically acclaimed bands of all time, you release an album that is just like, just like everyone fucking loves, that's kind of a sign to you that says, well, you know what? They like when I do that. Maybe I should go ahead and do something similar to that. But for whatever reason, Radiohead, they were like, fuck it. We're gonna do something that sounds absolutely nothing like that. That is just, it's just, it's just bonkers. It's just insane. It doesn't, it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. It, it, that shouldn't work out. You're a rock band, okay? Now you're deciding to throw the guitars away. It's a mind fuck, but the bigger mind fuck is the fact that it works. Not only did they switch their direction and it paid off well, they switched their direction completely, releasing an album that sounds very, 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 very little like their other stuff, okay? And then that album, turns out to be at the very least as good as OK Computer, if not better. It's, 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 I've never seen any band do anything like that in music history. And that is why so many people are willing to argue that Radiohead is one of the best bands of all time. And that is why I am willing to argue that Kid A is their greatest achievement because it's, 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 it's something that's just, it's just, it's just, it's just shocking. It's just shocking how this album fucking exists given the context and how it turned out so well. That brings me to my second reason why I'm willing to argue Kid A is Radiohead's greatest achievement, which is of course the music. The music is so fucking the music is so fucking good. I can't deny it. I can't deny it. I like to be a contrarian sometimes and say, you know, these popular albums uh, are overrated. But with this album, like, I sit down and I am captivated from start to finish. It just sounds so good. So many strange, interesting, cool little things going on throughout here. First off, the production on this album is absolutely amazing. There are just so many pleasant little textures of different keyboards and synths coming in throughout this album, and they all sound wonderful. They're so like, they're like so satisfying. It's just like, 
<sighs> like it just, it feels it like this album literally feels good on your ears to listen to. Everything is so smooth and beautiful. So honestly, like everyone knows Tom York, who's the vocalist of Radiohead, and Johnny Greenwood, the guitarist. But I think more people need to know Nigel Godrich, who is Radiohead's producer. Okay, because he does a fucking fantastic job on making this album sound so fucking good. It sounds fucking good. Everything on this album is so smooth and crystal clear. It feels like I'm freaking flying through a cloud or something. It, and actually, the atmosphere actually does remind me a bit of Miles Davis's In a Silent Way. I'm certainly hearing some jazz fusion influence in this album, both sonically, but also musically too. You can look to the jazzy, crazy freak out in the kind of post-rocky song, the national anthem that just repeats the same bass line over and over again and then builds to this epic free jazz freak out that's just chills inducing, okay? So there's obvious jazz influence in there. And then of course, a little bit of the, the guitar work and optimistic, you can certainly hear the jazz influence come in there. So this is what I'm trying to say here is this is a band that is borrowing influences of rock and electronic and jazz to come together in this kind of little weird, really fascinating album with all sorts of strange things going on. Think of the freaking song Kid A. That is a weird fucking song. It sounds like an ambient track that could be playing in the background of Minecraft, except all the instruments are played by like a really tiny little band of strange little creatures playing their strange little instruments like ding, 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 ding. Dude, it sounds like it's very. It sounds like a bunch of like they're using toys as instruments. Okay, it's very childish in that sense. And then Tom York's vocals come in. And they're all like, <laughs> it's like, what is this guy doing? They're freaking playing freaking stadium rock anthems and OK Computer. And then all of a sudden they're fucking coming out with like, we've got hands on sticks. And like I said, through all this weirdness, it's super captivating, and it just sounds so fucking good. The production just makes it sound so fucking good. And it's not like they're doing some random shit. They're really using really, really clever, interesting music theory here. They're playing really interesting chord progressions. They're using interesting time signatures, okay? And they're, they're building epic ass songs that touch on a lot of different sounds sonically. Johnny Greenwood, we know that, you know, he, he's a, he, now he's a really well-renowned composer. He's composed some soundtracks to some wonderful films, but you can hear the co composer in him already coming out in Kid A because you listen to the national anthem or how to disappear completely. It sounds like they're playing in a massive stage with a freaking huge orchestra, the wonderful string sections and how to complete, how to disappear complete, completely. It's just like And throughout this album, they're just taking risk after risk after risk after risk. This whole album is just a fucking insane risk, but for some reason, every single risk pays off enormously. It's it's insane. It's like winning the lottery 10 times in a row every single song here, okay? They put like freaking ambient track and ambient track. And it's like, why are you putting like an ambient? Well, you're a fucking rock band and you're putting a three minute ambient track in the middle of the album. And the end result is an album you can listen to start from finish so easily. This album just flies by. You don't get tired of it. You're not like, there's no moments where you're like, eh, I want to switch it up. It's just like every single song just you're done. And it touches on all these really cool sounds and sonic experiments and ideas and it's just like Holy shit, I can't think of any album that sounds anything like this. So ultimately what you have here is a perfectly executed album. You can listen to this album from start to finish and it flows perfectly. Every single song is packed with a ton of creativity and captivating ideas. The production is outstanding. The music is very unique and very innovative. It's, it's, just, it's, just, it's, just, it's just flawless, it's a flawless album. And you might argue that, well, you know, okay, computer is also flawless. And okay, that might be the case in your opinion. Uh, and that's a totally respectable opinion. But I'm still going to say Kid A really is Radiohead's greatest achievement. Because not only is it flawless, but it's also a mindfuck, given that this is a rock band releasing a flawless electronic album. Every single time I, th I say it, my brain m malfunctions because it's such a mindfuck. So, you know what? <sighs> I'm going to go listen to Kid A right now. If you disagree with me, I dare you to leave a com I dare you to leave a comment saying you disagree with me and you see what fucking happens. If you fucking say you think okay computer is better, see what happens. And if you think you if you think in rainbows is better, I'm gonna literally bite your fucking ear off. Punk revolution now, someone's at the door, I gotta go by.